Simon says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. Page numbers are used to identify and refer to a particular content with much ease. We have already seen how to add page numbers to a Word document, but how would you add page numbers in Excel? In this video, let us see how to add page numbers in Excel and how to customize them with the options available. In the normal mode, Excel appears as a whole worksheet with the scroll button consisting of cells without any page break or space to add page numbers. To add page numbers in Excel Sheets, navigate to the View Main menu. Select the Page Layout option. Once you click this option, the Excel Sheet is split up into pages, both horizontally and vertically. You can either add page numbers in the header or footer. In this case, let us add page numbers in the footer. Scroll down and click on Add Footer. This shows you three partitions in the footer to add page numbers. You can either add the page numbers on the left side of the page, to the right side of the page, or in the center of the page. Once you click on the footer, you can see the header and footer option in the main menu. Under the header and footer elements section, click on the page number. Once you click on page number, you can see the text and page in the footer section. Now, click anywhere in Excel and you can see the numbers populating in the selected partition of the header or the footer. This is another way to add page numbers in Excel. In addition to adding page numbers, this method has a variety of options and functionalities to customize them. Let us first see how to add page numbers. Navigate to the View main menu and change the view to Page Layout. Now, go to Page Layout main menu and click on the Page Setup options, which can be seen as a small Extend option. This opens the Page Setup dialog box. Navigate to the Header Footer tab. If you want to add page numbers as the header, click on the drop-down from the header. In the same way, you can click on the drop-down from the footer to add the page number in the footer. Select the way you want to add the page numbers from the suggestions. Click OK. This inserts the page number in the Excel sheet. Though page numbers are a valuable addition to your worksheet, sometimes you might not need a page number. To delete a page number, click on the page number in the header or footer section. This highlights the page number. Delete them and click away. This deletes the page numbers in the selected page and the following pages. That is all, people. In this video, we saw how to add page numbers in Excel using two different methods. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.